Greetings folks, it is maiden time for the Adam RC Dolphin Pro. Now, uh, following on from the assembly video, which I just uploaded a little while ago, um, to get it ready to fly, I've had to make a few tweaks in INAV. Uh, this is set up purely as uh, an, a, a VTAIL plane. Um, so the elevators are purely on the uh, VTAIL as well as the rudder and the ailerons are purely ailerons, there's no sort of uh, aileron mix. My thoughts are that the, the, the tails are sort of a narrow V, um, a, lot m a lot narrower than uh, conventional V tails, so I'm wondering how effective the elevator is going to be and whether it's going to affect efficiency and uh, induce drag and things like that. I did, I did read somewhere that uh, someone had tried all three configurations like pure VTAIL, pure Elevon and a mixture of the both and the mixture of the both was the work the best so maybe we'll end up at that but I'm just going to fly it as is as it comes from the factory to start off with. As it comes from the factory the manual throws are way too big uh, so they haven't considered flying in manual at all. Uh, the way I like to do it is get the plane flying in manual first then add INAV just as a, a gentle guiding hand over the top of the manual, uh, the good manual performance but no they've just gone for a pure INAV model I think. I have uh, Avatar Walk Snail up on the FPV canopy there. I didn't want to put it into the nose because uh, this field is a bit too rough and uh, nose landings. I did have to adjust the length of all the push rods. Uh, none of the surfaces were lined up level unfortunately. I did have to tighten up all the bolts on the push rods as well because they were a bit loose and sloppy. After this I'll go back and set it up myself using my own um, INAV sort of philosophy and I'm going to move the push rods in a couple of holes on the servos because the, the, the throws are just way too big and the INAV setup is all just sort of compensating for those wild manual throws. Um, I, I'll try it in manual briefly but I think it's going to be a, a real handful to, to fly in manual. I don't have a 6S battery that this is designed for. I've got a 4S 3300 LiPo so we'll just go with that and see how we go. I never use auto launch so I'm just going to do a, a hand launch, normal hand launch and uh, we'll see what happens. Here we go. Oh, my flying weight with the 4S 3300 is about 1250 grams. Okay, we will do a line of sight test first. I have taped down the rear canopy because someone advised me that uh, the canopy will fly off if you fly fast. So these are the throws in Acro, lots of elevator throw, hardly any rudder and we switch to manual, look at that, that's, that's ridiculous, make sure my angle mode is working correctly, yep that's all going well, we have six satellites, fortunately the Wind is coming from behind me. That's annoying. Eight satellites. Okay. We're ready to go. Let's give it a go. pretty sluggish in the controls I think I need more got plenty of ailerons elevators aren't oh, you really have to tip it over to turn and then oh, we're in a strange wind direction here too Gee, you lose orientation. Need to get up high and <laughs> uh, I 
Well, it's flying, but uh, I need to get used to it. Could be the wind direction. We're in a downdraft here. Triangle mode. No, don't like that INF setup, I'm afraid. I'm not going to try manual mode. It's like we've got too much elevator. Flying okay. And if it's not flying well in angle mode, well it sort of is, but you just don't have a lot of control. There's angle mode. No, it does not fly well in angle mode for some reason. Should have some control in angle mode, but I don't seem to have a lot. Cruise. Cruise is cool. Oh no, 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 something very odd there. Up and down and up and down. All right, well, I'm not going to do FPV, I'm afraid. I'm going to go home and rejig the INAV and uh, try again. I never do trust anyone else's INAV setup, so. Um, We'll go and do my own. Well, at least we got down in one place, in one piece. Oh, the wings popped off. So that wasn't very smooth at all. In cruise, it was bobbing up and down. In angle, you couldn't hold it out at an angle. It would start wiggling like that. Okay in acro, but um, oh, switching between too much control and not enough control of the elevator, maybe. So I'll take it home and uh, redo the INAV setup and uh, I'll come out again. Thanks for watching. Wait till the next video. It should be better. So what am I thinking? The manual throws away too big. We're going to move the push rod into an inner hole. On all the control surfaces. The rotation rates in INAV are way too small. Um, And the V-tail mix, I think I want uh, an Elevon mix and yeah, maybe a bit of assisted elevator. I'm not too sure. I don't, I don't, uh, can't see how that elevator action is going to work all that well on the sharp angled V-tail. Anyway, we will work it out.